Hi guys, so I just um, I thought I'd begin this video by sharing a bit of a story actually so um, when I was uh, when I was a kid maybe like six or seven years old or something um, me and my mother used to play a game we called 21 so basically you'd start out from zero and anyone would would begin playing and one would do so by adding one or two and then the goal was that you get to 21 so basically if i me and you were to play this i would then say like oh i start with one and then say you add two so you would say three and then i add two so i would say five and then you add two so then you would say seven and we would keep on going and the person who says 21 wins and the funny thing about this was my mother always won, like absolutely every time. Uh, and I never understood why until I was like 12 or something. Uh, yeah, well, actually, we, I played it when I was really small and then we didn't play it. And I, I think I remembered it when I was like 12 or something. And then I finally figured out what she did to me. Um, so, uh, well, yeah, I thought I'd just share the theory behind this this game and uh, so yeah as i said we need to get to 21 first so how do you do that well and okay the, the point here is to find an optimal strategy so you can always beat your kid basically and um, yeah if you want to get to 21 then we can do a so-called win-lose board you might say weird translation sorry so if you think about this okay we have a row and uh, and some columns some boxes here and they they keep on going so this would be 21 and then we we think about if every position is winning or losing if you were to choose from this so okay if you were to choose from 21, then you've already lost the game because your opponent reached 21. So that is obviously a lose position. But that also means that if you were to choose, um, if it was your turn to add one or two, and you were standing at 20 or 19, then you've obviously won because you can just choose if you're there, you add two, so you get to 21. If you're there, you add one, so you get to 21. And that also means that if you're standing here at 18, you can only, since you can only add one or two, you can only give your opponent a winning position. So therefore, this one is losing and the pattern continues, so on. So this is winning, this is winning, this is losing, this is winning, this is winning this is losing and so on. So here we can see that every number, number divisible by 15, sorry, by three is losing and every other number is a winning position. So what my mother did was that whenever I, if I, I started, was, uh, yeah, so first we can begin with this. So what does this mean if we go all the back down? To zero that means that zero is a losing position because if your opponent plays optimally then so this is what my mother did whenever i added one she added two and when i added two she added one that thus every time she made a move she put me on a losing position so Okay, here we don't have zero written out, but it's essentially the same thing because it's only it the divisibility by three is what only what matters. So if I were here, I can only put her into a winning position, and she can always put me back into a losing position. So this would keep on going. If I if I added one, she'd add two, and if I added two, she'd add one, and then one. And then she'd add two and she'd, she'd win. And uh, since I didn't have the, didn't know the optimal strategy, so even when she started, 
if I say, okay, so um, as we said, sh she started and she could make any move. She had added one. And if I then messed up and maybe added a one also, then she would add a one back, putting me again in a losing position. And then the pattern would, would just repeat. <laughs> she, she adds one if I add two, and I add two if, and she adds two if I add one. So she always puts me in a losing position. And yeah, that's the secret to why she won. And um, yeah, I will, uh, so yeah, this was, uh, this was my story. I will certainly do more uh, videos on this lose-win bracket kind of thing. Um, and we can actually standardize this problem actually for any number that you want to achieve and also the different numbers you can choose from when adding. So, but yeah, that's, that's another video. Thank you so much uh, for listening and have a good one. Bye-bye.